Chris Stonebreaker here with the six time, eight time, eight time champion, Rick Roden. Roden. You're an eight time champion, PGA golf professional. You were also a pitcher in the majors for Yankees and the Pirates. Mm -hmm. What would you say is one of your most memorable moments, though, in the high school world of things? Well, high school, I grew up in South Florida, so there was, there was good high school baseball. My high school team wasn't very good, but uh, there was really good high school baseball teams around there. I pitched in a uh, all-star game in high school, you know, north against south, a starting pitcher, and did real well. But, uh, you know, I, I just love baseball. You know, I'm high school baseball, American Legion baseball. You know, I signed when I was 18 and went to play in a Dodger organization. So, uh, you know, I was fortunate I got to play in a state where the weather was hot and you could play a lot, of, a lot of baseball. A lot of baseball. Back in the day, do you say there's a big difference between when you used to play in high school compared to nowadays, the recruiting processes and all that? Well, I think there's, for baseball especially, there's a lot more really good baseball college programs than when I came in. I came out of high school in 1971 and there was a handful of really good programs around the country. That was it. You know, a lot of most of the kids that signed professionally came out of high school back then. Now most of them come out of college, so that just shows you that college uh, baseball has improved a lot where kids go there. But uh, you know, baseball is different now because of the aluminum bats. It's a different different deal. It's hard to tell judge a kid, really judge him good to see if he's a good hitter or not because it's a lot different with aluminum than wood. When you were playing high school ball, do you have any just moments that stand out a lot? I don't, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I was obviously I was a number one draft pick in high school, so obviously I was pretty good, you know. I, but uh, I don't know. I, I, I grew up playing with men. I was 16 years old playing with old, older guys. So when I got into high school, uh, I knew I was the best player on the field. So, uh, no, I, you know, I expected to do well every time I pitched. But like again, I said in my last year, I, I gave up one and run the whole year and lost two games. So we didn't have a very good team. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's tough to say if you lose one. Oh man. Well, uh, with MaxPreps.com, a big focus of us is saying thank you to the coaches. We love high school coaches. We think they do so much for the lives of the student athletes that come through their programs. Do you? remember your coaches and you still stay in touch with them and and what do you think is the importance of coaches well I think good coaching can make a big influence on kids you know as we all know same with teachers um, uh, just uh, they follow your actions and if you and if you lead by lead by example just like any sport but a coach really because he's the the head figure of the, of the kids as they're growing up in their, their years when you know a lot of maybe don't have a father, father figure in their family you know so uh, it is a big deal, and I think now there's more and more good coaches in high school. You know, it used to be a high school baseball coach must be a shop teacher, just somebody that's taking the job. But now, uh, most of the guys have played college ball or something that are coaching, and, and they have a good idea about the game. You think that's helping the future of baseball in America? Well, I think I think it makes uh, makes the kids uh, better players because they can, you know, they're going to have somewhere along the line they're probably going to run into a good coach that knows something about baseball that can help them. You know, you see most of the kids now, a lot of the kids come from the Latin America countries, and and, and uh, the reason is they're playing baseball. Right. You know, they're playing year round, and you got to play. You know, you got to play to get better. And uh, you know, when you come in certain states, Texas, Florida, California, the kids play a lot. Uh, but when you get into pro ball, they'll get a kid that might come out of Michigan and only play 20 games a year, and he's behind because he hasn't played. But when he gets into pro ball and starts playing 140 games a year, sometimes they catch the other guys and run right by him in about two years if they got talent. Well, hey, thank you for the interview. Sorry about the six to eight times. Hey, congratulations. Good luck this year. Too.